Hey guys, this is out of the KX155, how to put a Molex pin on. So the Molex pin is what's shown here. And the Molex pin has a little tab, tab right there that holds this in to this particular connector. And so I'm gonna show you how to put this crimp on. This crimp uses a special type of crimper and you'll notice that it, it shows here that there's a section of wire here that's going to be crimped and then a, this back section crimps the insulation. So um, the idea for us here is that we want to, when this is done, this part here should be crimping. This part here crimps the wire that crimps the insulation. So wire insulation. I'm just gonna prep my wire here. So here we go, I'm gonna put that guy in. So it sits, so I've I've cut, I've stripped it, but when I stripped it, I want it to butt up against that. So I stripped that just right. So now this here piece is going to crimp the shielding or the insulation, and this is going to crimp the wire. This is my Molex crimper, and it has uh, two different sizes, and I'm using, I'm going to use We'll, we'll show you both here. We'll do 24. So we're gonna use the A or the B, depending on this, this uh, the wire gauge you use, we'll determine which si side you wanna use. Now this crimper itself obviously has two stages of crimping. If you look inside there, there's two stages of crimp. So what we need to do is, first thing we need to do is get our pin into the connector. So I'm going to use A because I'm using, uh, I am using 22 gauge wire. So it falls in the A side. And what you do here is you can pull this guy around and then you can drop your pin inside. It should just slide in there, there we go. Then that little guy kind of comes down as a as a stopper and will prevent the wire from going in too far. So I'm gonna bring that guy around, put him in there. And then take my wire, make sure the strands are all tucked in. Then I'm going to insert the wire. Until it hits the stop. And then I'm going to crimp it. Now, in order to get this out, I'm going to press the little lever and release it. So the one thing is, is that on A, on 22 gauge, it seems to crimp the wire nice, but it didn't really do a very good job on the strain relief part, which is, which is here. So I'm gonna just actually crimp it with the B and see how it does. done a good job I can see that I've got a bit of white in here which shows that the shielding has gone all the way through I've got a bit of white I've got a bit of white right here that shows that the shielding has gone all the way through but yet 
and I've got a little bit of wire sticking out the end which shows that the wire extends through the crimped portion. And if I pull on this, it's gonna give me the desired setting I need, it's, it's strength I need, okay? So now I've gotta install this pin into this connector. Now these are a rear installation but front removal pin. So this little lock tab here is going to go into these little grooves on the top and the bottom. So depending on where you're positioning the pin, you have to obviously see the letters. And if you look really carefully, you'll be able to see the numbers or letters associated with it. So what we do is we find the pin connector that we want it to go into. And again, this guy has to go in with a little lock tab into that groove. And once it's in, <laughs> lock tab into the groove, let's try this way. There it goes. So it slides all the way in and it should just kind of you know, push it a bit. There it clicks and now it won't come out. So now how the heck do I get this guy out? Well, it's, you gotta get into the front side with this tool. So this tool, I just made one and it's, uh, what it's gonna do is it's gonna slide into here and push this, push this little lock tab up to release it. So first of all, you slide that in, slide that in and then pull the pin out. That's how you get the pins out. So pin slides in. Again, it depends on which side you put it in, whether it's, uh, but the, the little tab always goes to the outside because it enters into the little slot. It enters into that little slot there. Clips in. Oop. <laughs> Make sure you stick it in the right way. It's hard to tell when the connector's not in. No, it goes this way. Okay, there it goes, it slides in. It should slide in until it clicks, there it goes. And again, to remove it, insert the specialty tool. So you knock the little tab in, pop it out. There you go.